So let's jump right in. So when you first heard the radio ad, what went through your mind, or what was it about the ad that, that drove the phone call? Well, when you think you can increase my sales, I have, you know, 20 people that work for me in sales. Uh, I think I'm pretty good at what we do. I've been doing it for uh, 32 years, so I think I know something about sales. I'm sure you do. Absolutely. So, quickly, since you brought it up, the reason why people end up moving forward with us is not necessarily because they're deficient in their sales practices, right? A lot of people are like you where they're they're strong when they call. But usually, and I want to ask you this question, usually we'll say to the owner, right, but are your people as strong as you? So I guess that's my first question is, are these guys as strong as you? Have we been able to get the sales training techniques off your brain and successfully onto their brain so they're closing as effectively as you? Yes, no question. Now, you're not doing this, so make sure you hear me. When I say this example, this is not you, Jack, but I just wanted to use the following as an example. We'll get guys that call up and say, I've been in sales for 30 years. What in the world can you teach me? I could teach you a few things. And we'll say to them nicely, okay, so obviously you know the importance of asking for the sale, correct? Oh, please, that's 101. You've got to ask for the sale five times. Great, Bob. How do you do it? What? What do you mean what? How do you ask for the sale? And Jack, they completely obliterate and vaporize over the phone in front of our very eyes. They can't answer a simple question like how to ask for the sale. Jack, most if you, I, I actually want to ask for you to do something right now, if you're willing to. You don't have to. But I want you to pick up the phone right now or, or, or call in your office if these guys work in your office and say to any of your salespeople, I don't, even the top salesperson, I would actually love you to get the top person to prove to you how bad it is and just say to them, hey, John, question for you, buddy. How do you ask for the sale? And you're not going to like what you hear, Jack. This Whoever you call on is going to completely start dancing all over the place. Well, what do you mean it depends? No, it doesn't depend. How do you ask for the sale? Well, and they're not going to be able to answer the question. Would you like to take me up on that? Okay, hold on one second. I mean, I'll... Let's see I'll call my top guy. Let's see. Hold on. Thank you so much. And remember the question. Top guy, how do you ask for the sale? And pin him down because he's going to start dancing all over the place most likely. Okay. But why don't you ask me that question myself? Why don't you ask me that question? Well, I don't want to put you on the spot, Jack, but all right. You Let's asked for it. All right. How do you ask for the sale? Can I send you a fee agreement? Oof. Okay. Now... Forgive me. Hopefully you'll remove any ego, because I will too. The problem with what you just said is you violated a basic rule in sales where you never ask a yes or no question. What we want to turn that into, Jack, is this. We don't want to ask if we can send the fee agreement. We're going to, make, we're going to take the same close with the assumption close and say, okay, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send you the fee agreement and and we're going to roll right into the – we're not going to ask for it. We're going to do it. We're going to tell them what we're doing. Now, if they stop us and there's an objection, fine, we'll handle it. But what we don't want to do is ask a yes or no question because then we're flipping a coin in the air. We have a much higher percentage chance of doing it the other way. Make sense? There you go. Uh, I'm, going to dial, I'm going to dial Mike Moran. Okay. You got it. I love it. You're awesome. The question I need to ask him is, how do you close a deal, or how do you? Yeah, yeah. Just say, hey, yeah, yeah. Say, how do you ask, say, hey, how do you ask for the sale? And you're probably going to have to pin them down because you. Well, it depends. No, 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 no. How do you ask for the sale? Hold on. Hold I on. love I'm it, Jack. Stop. Most people don't do this, and I really commend you for doing this. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I can't complain. So let me ask you. When you when you're getting down to uh, to a client and you wanna you want them to close the transaction, how do you close the deal? That's a very general question. What do you mean by that? Well, you know you're having you're on the telephone. You you've made your pitch, and how how would you close the deal? Um, close the deal like get a fee agreement signed, funding. Yeah. What do you mean by close the deal? How do you get a guy to, to to allow him 
to uh, for you to send them a fee agreement? Oh, sure. Um, well, I, I pitch our services. I highlight our confidentiality, our short 30-day exclusivity, uh, the size of our network, the, the time we've been in business, and the, the essentially the 30 years we've procured that buyer network. Uh, I highlight our marketing channels, both email, our telemarketing, phone calls, uh, our web presence, our brand name. There's a lot of different avenues I could take it. What's your closing line? What's my closing line? Yeah. I mean, what's the last thing you ask them uh, before you hang up? Uh, I would essentially highlight that uh, there's a 30-day exclusivity. Um, so if, depending on how they're, they're feeling about listing, if they're tentative or if they're fully convinced, uh, I encourage them to list with us. And in that 30-day period, they'll have a pretty good grasp of what buyers are interested in their in their listing, and uh, of course, it recurs every 30 days. So we're not going to sell the company in 30 days, uh, but within that 30-day window, we'll have a pretty good grasp of what the the offers will come in at, and how many parties are interested in, in this, uh, pursuing their listing further. I'm, I'm trying to get a specific answer. What's your closing line before you shut up and ask the guy says yes or no? I mean, it's, it's highly contextual. I, I can't say I have a, a closing line. So, uh, I'm good. I'll talk to you. Have a good weekend. Okay. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Bye. Good okay. job, Jack. Did that, that work? That, thank you. Good job. Um, so, thank you, first of all, so much for doing that. I, I have tremendous respect for you. Most people don't have the gumption and the guts to do that, so thank you. We heard it. Here's the other guy calling me. Now, this guy is a weak guy. I don't know if I should. Yeah, no, well, you, let's hear it. We're going to hear the same thing, but yeah, let's hear it. Absolutely. Well, let me see if I can connect there. Let's see. Hey, Greg? Greg? Yeah. How you doing? Good, good. I just I was on the phone with Andre. I, I missed the tail end of your call, so sorry about that. Just calling you back. No problem. So uh, I'm just, you know, thinking about uh being involved with some sales training people, and I guess one of the questions we ask is, when you're when you're getting down to the short strokes, you've articulated what the company's all about, what we do, what we don't do. What's your last line, your closing line to get somebody to send a fee agreement? I'd be curious to hear that, please. My closing line to get someone to send a fee agreement? Yeah, for you to send them a fee agreement. Yes. Um. Well, typically, I just say, look, you know, I can, you know, be happy to memorialize everything we just talked about. Uh, I mean, I put it into a proposal, you know, outline what I would need for the next steps um, to get started. Okay. Is there so any, you know, any 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 repetitious uh, closing the line? Like, uh, can, yeah, I mean, I, a fee agreement, or can I send you a fee agreement? Or? Okay. Is there any? All right. I don't need anything else. Am I, saying any, am I saying anything wrong? Do you want me to change anything, or do you have any suggestions? Not right now. I'll get back to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So. Hey, guys, too. Thank you. That's perfect, Jack. He's now he's the weakest salesman. He he don't make a hundred grand. He make a sixty seventy thousand. Makes the calls. Diligent, but not not there. But you know what, Jack? We saw the same pattern, and it doesn't mean that the top person, the top person, is obviously doing other things uh, better when it comes to sales techniques than the weaker guy. But the greater point is that both of them hesitated. They did exactly what I said. Um, and and with the last guy, his ironically, the last guy's line is better than the first guy's, believe it or not. But the if you'd like part invites the customer to say no. And there's a way to do it without coming across as high pressure. So as an example, I'll show you something that will probably lighten up the conversation a little bit. And let me just play a 20-second video. This is my daughter going door-to-door -door when she was seven. And I want you to hear the clothes. You tell me if you can pick up on the clothes. One second, please. Down the street. How are you? Good, thank you. My school, St. Joachim, is privately funded and needs to pay for the school's 
field trips, computers, and playgrounds. I know you know how important that is, right? That is Absolutely. Right. All we are asking for is a small donation of 5 or $10. Does that sound fair enough? Did you catch the close? Yeah, does that sound fair enough? That's it. That alone, Jack, if we never did business, and I hope we do business after I explain, obviously, what we do, that alone will change your company to sales right there. You can have that for free. When you say at the end of that close and we resummarize, mm-hmm. hey, here's all the things we talked about, here's all the things we can do, here's the things we can't do, here's the reasons why to do it, blah, 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 and we raise the buying temperature and we end with fair enough and we shut the hell up, that is not high pressure. But it's like having them by the neck with velvet gloves. That's our go-to line. That's what I've used, Jack, for 30 years. Doesn't mean that's my only close. I don't need these guys to have 100 closes. I only need them to rotate and use about five. And I use fair enough probably two or three times every time I'm closing. That's the kind of stuff. So if I could now, hopefully that I've right proven this, I'd like to explain what we do. Is that okay? Is, sure, go ahead. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Is that any different than, is that fair enough? <laughs> it is. It is. Because actually, I'm so glad you asked that. I purposely violated a rule right there. On purpose. And we're not going down a long rabbit hole. I knew that when I said, is that okay? Usually you don't do that. Because the customer may say no. But I knew it was a loaded question. So I knew I would get a yes, of course. But I also wanted to lighten up because... Not, I mean, this conversation's been great, but I wanted to make sure there was no tension. So I wanted to, now that, you know, I've kind of gone out and proven it, I wanted to let some pressure out. So, yeah, it actually is different. So, anyway, here's what this is all about, Jack. And please stop me as you have questions. Because one thing we teach salespeople on the most basic level is not to show up and throw up. Okay. 90% of salespeople, Jack, have never read one freaking sales book in their life. They don't teach this in school, and they should, because 11% of the population are salespeople, and they don't know how to close just like we proved, and thank you so much for making those two calls. And by the way, the close is not one big giant event. It's a series of events that starts from the moment we meet the customer. And if we work together, we're going to make sure that these guys are so freaking good, they can teach it like I do.